this is the video game votary show your support and hit subscribe right now what's going on video game votary vanguard it's your boy the video game votary here with another episode so recently i just picked up an item it's not really rare but it's very hard to get your hands on and i thought it'd be awesome to add down here to the game room so to find out what i picked up sit back subscribe catch the vibe and find out next Okay guys, welcome back. Before we get today's video started, if you're a fan of video game content, convention coverage, pickups videos, live streams, and much more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell, turn on notifications so that you don't miss a single episode. And as always, we upload every Tuesday and Thursdays at 4 p.m. right here on the Video Game Vote. Okay guys, welcome back to the episode. So here you have it. This is the Xbox Series X Replica Mini Fred's Thermoelectric Cooler. This is a 1.5 to 1 scale replica of the Xbox Series X. So we're just going to take a look at the box. See what it says. Great addition for your gaming area. As I pointed out, portable design, perfect for car, RV, or truck. Includes USB port for charging, 10 liter capacity. Uh, this is a official target release, as you can see right there at the bottom. Turn it on the sides, got some details, holds up to 12 soda cans, two snack shells. We'll probably be putting some miniatures right there because we grown men. <laughs> Let's read the back. This is right up here on the left. You see it says Xbox official gear. Then it's got some different photos. And this thing appears to be identical to the Xbox Series X. It's got some dimensions on here, internal dimensions, 3.37 millimeters uh, height, 174 millimeters width, 175 millimeters depth. The outer dimensions are 462 height by 232 by 232 millimeters width and depth. Uh, the contents, it says Xbox Series X fridge, AC power cable, DC 12 volt cable suitable for automo automotive uh, use, two shelves, two door shelves, power options, AC voltage, DC voltage, features, thermoelectric technology, DC, AC operation, 10 liter capacity, holds up to 12 cans, cools items up to 36 degrees Fahrenheit, below ambient temperature, USB port for charging, integrated LED lights, removable shelves. Now, um, the associate at Target was talking to me saying that a lot of people was bringing this back they were saying that it wasn't keeping the drinks cold granted it's supposed to be a mini fridge right but the idea especially for us gamers and i believe that's what xbox was trying to target i would imagine i mean it it is xbox and it's still kind of cool but like i said it's a cool addition for a gaming area so i wouldn't get this with the thought of yeah i'm gonna cool you know, I'm going to actually use it as a fridge. I mean, it sounds crazy, but I mean, not to have such high expectations for it. it you know, it's, it, it's pretty much a novelty piece to have in your game room. Now, I'm pretty sure we'll get it cold enough. I think people will kind of, you know, they they be asking for a lot if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's going to keep the drinks at least cool. Maybe not ice cold. I don't know what people kind of expect. I'm not having my getting my hopes up uh, for this being, you know, like an ice cold refrigerator type of thing. So just wanted to throw that out there. Um, probably if you go to Target, try to find one. That's probably what they're going to tell you. But I don't you know, I wouldn't get my hopes up. I'm just happy to have this added to the collection. I think it's kind of cool. So let's get this box open. So. Styrofoam. So this pack is nice. You already see that Series X, just like the top. I want to try to open this safely without blocking the camera either. I'm trying to grab it. Just take that plastic off. That help. There it is. Not heavy. We lost the box, people. We lost the freaking box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see what else is in here. Maybe some directions. Uh, so basically you got instruction manual 
pretty self-explanatory. There's not much to it. So freaking many fridge people. All right. Let's back the camera up just a tad. And this is the Xbox Series X replica mini fridge. So if you guys are familiar with the Xbox Series X, this is an identical, and I mean identical replica of it. So this is the front. You got the Xbox uh, light. You got what appears to be some kind of power button. We'll figure out what that is. But it's a button there just like on the Xbox Series X. You also have a, they uh, made the replica of the disc slot. And down here, you got another power button and you got one USB port. Put on the side here. The side, it's got the Xbox symbol right there on the bottom left. Let me drop it down a little bit. Right here on the bottom left is the Xbox symbol. You can see the green. Let me tilt it on the top so you guys can get a look at that. Just like the Series X, you can see the green. I believe with this one, normal refrigerators expel the heat backwards. This is top of the unit. You can see the vents here, I believe. It's going to uh, expel the heat upward. So just so you know, you want to keep this area clean so it can vent properly. And we got the back area. You got your DC input, 12 volt, off on button. So uh, indicator, and then you got your AC side. You have your uh, all your information as far as the electrical, the voltage, all those things, serial number. This is made by Uconic. It's made in China. I'm not familiar with that company. It's got Xbox 2021 Microsoft Corporation. They also replicated the ports right here on the back, just like the Series X. Turn on the side. That's the side. It's pretty plain. So see what we've been waiting for let's open this baby up so this basically just pulls and there you have it got your two shelving units right there Get a little closer got their two shelving units on the door got your this is a USB well it's not USB but this is an adapter for the car. Um, it's small enough and light enough that you can take it on a trip. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I'll be doing that. And then you got your power cable. So let's get this baby plugged in. We're gonna take a look at it. Okay guys, we got it all plugged in. This is for the alternating current. That's what AC stands for, DC stands for. Can't remember at the moment, forgive me. <laughs> So it's basically gonna plug in on the AC side. I'm gonna power it on. You hear those fans kick on. Indicator light indicates that it's on. Turn it around. And that's definitely the vent. You can feel it coming out the top there. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the button right here on the bottom right. As you can see, Xbox symbol that is awesome. I'm not sure what this button does. I'm about to find out. Oh, so I gotta lean this down for y'all to see this. So, this button turns on the light on top. That is awesome, man. That's awesome. It's just a nice little addition to the game room, man. It's not, you know, if I'm looking to buy a refrigerator, I'm not gonna say, hey, I'm gonna go get this one. You know, if you're a gamer like myself, then you know. You will add this to the game collection and down in your game room, you'll have it on display. I mean, it looks awesome, especially if you got it next to your Series X, if you have one, if you're lucky enough to get one. But man, this is cool. This is pretty freaking cool. It's got the buttons right there. Also got a USB port right there. You know, if you want to charge some things up, cell phone, controllers, uh, control hub or something like that, anything. So... This is the Xbox Series X replica mini refrigerator. I think it's awesome. I'm happy to have it to the collection. I also want to point out how I got this. So I had a friend kind of remind me, I heard about it and that was at the time I was on my high 80, so I didn't pay a lot of attention to it, but I heard about it. I wasn't super interested. I said, if I come across one, then I'll get it. But I had a friend call me and said that she was getting one 
I'm not going to say who because this is before the holiday season. It was a Christmas gift, so I'm not going to say who, but shout out to her. And she basically dropped the bug in my ear. It was like, yeah, you know, I got this at Target. I'm like, all right, awesome. So I go there, call a couple Targets, couldn't find it. So this is the warning. People are trying to scalp these things. I know of a friend personally who super duper overpaid for this thing. It's not necessary. Now, I don't like to fall victim to scalpers where they just want to run up the price to three hundred dollars. I'm going to go close to it. So needless to say, I couldn't really find this at Target. So I happened to go on Marketplace. There's a ton of them on there. You'll see them from anywhere ranging from 140 to 180. I said I'm not going well over the price the price point on this at target is a hundred dollars so keep that in mind so i'm not gonna go the idea was not to spend a whole lot i wasn't super pressed to have it i thought it'd be cool to have but i definitely wasn't gonna pay you know twice the amount or even three times the amount so i ended up going to marketplace someone had it i think for 140 i ended up talking them down to 125 you know Buying this at Target would tax probably like 106 and maybe a little more depending on where you live at in the country. So I paid 125. All right, so I lost 20 bucks. No big deal. Might have saved me 20 hours in gas riding around the different Targets. So I don't know. I decided, you know, 20 hours was pretty much my limit and I was able to pick this up. It just saved me the hassle riding around, hoping to find it, things of that nature. I was able to find it located verified that this was the actual item and then pick it up for what i felt was a very pr fair price for this without uh overpaying now you will see on a lot of these posts the sale posts that these things are rare it's not that they're rare i don't recall or hear anything about these not being readily available the problem is is be able to go in the stores and find them because you got people that's going and buy two, three, four, five of them and they're trying to upsell them and make profit off of it. And they're trying to tell you it's rare. Now, it may be true that you can't find one, but if you are patient and you're diligent with the process and you're checking your local targets and going in there, you probably could get one. So me personally, I wouldn't fall victim to it. I will talk to these people, talk these people down. There's plenty on the marketplace. So therefore, that'll tell you that it's not really a rare item. The difference is there's a big difference between rare and a big difference between whether or not you can get your hands on it. So if you show patience, you can pick one up. Just wanted to point that out. Just a warning to you guys. I don't want you guys to pay a super large amount for this thing. I mean, unless you want to to each his own. But I personally wouldn't. The idea is to have a game collection and spend as little as possible. And try to find the best deals out there. Okay guys, so that is going to conclude my unboxing and review of the Xbox Series X mini refrigerator. Let me know down in the comment section, is it something you already added to the game room? Is it something you're going to look for? What do you think about the price point? What do you think about the scalpers? And are you willing to pay scalping prices? Or are you willing to do the hunt? Let's start the conversation. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at Video Game Votary.